Raphael Levy for tcgplay.com. We're playing a white green servos. We're on the play this game. And our hand is uh, actually pretty good. We are one creature away from uh, uh, from transforming the the rights. Fetid pools. Another land. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play the exhibition here. Sultai energy, I think. It could be Sultai. Uh, I don't know what that is yet. Oh, Constrictor. All right. Oh wow, that's that's actually a pretty good draw. It's pretty much what I wanted. I don't really want him to uh, play with the with this guy too much. Yes, dead, removed, exiled, please. Alright, attack for two. Go, what else is gonna play the next turn? Rishkar, another one of these guys. Uh Rob Refiner. Yes. He's uh, playing very slowly. So, uh, oh, this guy, this guy's okay. This guy's totally fine. Yes, you can get your energy. Don't worry, I'm gonna get my uh, my uh, little guy, my uh, ballista soon. I can feel it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, I did not. That that was that was totally, totally planned. I didn't know what I was gonna draw, but it felt like a ballista. Um, yeah, I'm gonna attack with both. I let him draw if he, if he wants to. If he wants to block and kill it with a with a, fatal push, that's totally okay. This turn I'm gonna do rights, and next turn I'm gonna do ballista and canra, depending on the, what he's doing. He might do that. He might just block and uh, kill it, but that's that doesn't look very good. No, he's not doing that. Alright, so 2 damage. No, 3 damage, sorry. Play the groves. Play the rights. I'm gonna do it right. Alright, what do we get? The ballista and another camera. Kenra is not exactly super impressive. It's okay, but it's not. It's not great. Looking for the right two drops, but I don't know what to, what to have. I don't know what's better. We have the hope the the tenders, the um, hope tenders, which are okay because they can untap the the cradle. 
the rest is uh, the, the other two drops are not great. This deck is definitely missing like something good. All right, this is okay. My ballista will uh, will chunk, will eat them both. It's gonna be sweet. So what's gonna happen? He's gonna attack. Uh, if he has a fatal push, I'm I'm still gonna get the fatal push and both both uh, uh, siphoners, and maybe my cradle is not going to flip. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. The thing is, he can't fail push my uh, my warden as well, which would be uh, which would be bad. Like if I kill the the first one, he kills the the warden, and then I don't get to flip my stuff. That would be the worst case scenario. Uh, even then, I still get to kill both of his guys. He doesn't get to draw. Do I have? Another option. The option is just to play my ballista. I think that's the uh, play ballista. No attacks. No attacks. Flip. If he does something, I just kill both. Yeah, I think that's the play. I think I should do it like this. Cause like the for the the most important thing now is to flip. And if he kills one of my servos, I, I don't really care. No, he, he's gonna kill my ballista. But if he kills it now, then my warden survives, so it's not so bad. So I'm gonna play this one. I'm not going to attack because the play that knows me the most is Fatal Push. I'm just going to wait till he moves. He doesn't. So I'm going to use it right away with four mana. Add a counter. It will probably fail push it now. No. Nope. And then I guess I played around too many things. I played around something he did, just didn't have. All right, killing both of these guys, keeping my ballista, keeping my team. Oh, he had a fail push. He's gonna kill my warden. Yeah, okay. So we did play correctly. I guess it's constrictor back. But without these guys it's not as bad. And we have the cradle up. So if he has his own ballista for two what's going on? Ballista for two kills two of my guys. Maybe he can kill all three of them. Rogue Refiner, yeah, this one we don't care at all. Because then we're going to start having Tyrants and Pump Tyrants. Yeah, oh. Did he just draw the this one? Okay, well, I'm going to ping you for one. I think we played it correctly. Uh, okay, well, so we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can play a two drop. I guess we can play this guy for free. Is that right? Three, yeah, we can play this guy for free. So three mana, four, five, six, Carnage Tyrant. Next turn is going to attack for 11 damage. Two, is it a Raska? Three, four. Or uh, 
Green Gear Hulk. No, I don't think it's a Green it's a Gear Hulk. Ballista for two, but that's okay. At three, he can kill two of my guys, but that's not gonna do it. And we get this one as well, so that's also really good. Uh, so we're just gonna take out the ballista then. So we can't block. Is that the plan? Do we want to activate the dunes here? No, he's he still has blockers. Bye bye. What is it killing? And he can just kill our guys. Oh, defense. Sure. So now it's a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, so it's 5, 6, 7. He can have 10 if he blocks with everything. He has no cards. So I guess we are going to do that. Uh, do we want to attack with the others? Uh, target creature about this guy. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to uh, use a dune, I think. Use reason king right, yes. So I'm sure it doesn't die. It's gonna be eleven in defense. Probably gonna send the rest as well. So I'm going to use uh, this guy for two. Is that right? And tap two lines. Otherwise, I don't have enough white mana to do everything. Yep. And I'm going to uh, use this one. White, white, and two. Have two here. Yes, to its own ability, of course. He has no cards, so. Uh, Kills my guy. Uh, sure, I'll take mana. Whatever. Find dead servos. It's only one guy that can attack anyway, so. This guy's gonna be huge. Use yes. And I don't think there's a way he can deal with the tyrants. So eleven. He can't. He can't do eleven. It's down to two, and I don't think he can deal with it at all. And if he kills a Kenra, then he comes back and bumps a tyrant. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, sure. I still have the dunes. Uh, let's see. If I play this. So it's going to be 8. He can have 3, 4, 5. Oh, he's on 2, so he's definitely dead. Uh, I'm gonna play my land too, whatever. I think it's 
too much damage. Yeah, yeah, I think he he realized that as well. All right, so this guy was actually really good here. So we're gonna play some more. Uh, what? Uh, this guy was actually pretty good too. Uh, this guy, I'm not sure on the draw. This guy might actually be way too slow. So we want this guy to deal with Ballista and uh, the Snake. This guy is actually a beating, so we're gonna keep him. So I have too many cards. Maybe this guy is just not great. We can cut one of the exemplars. Do you want to play uh, some more late drops? Uh, I think it's going to be okay. No, we'll just keep it that way. Alright, uh, that's definitely a keeper. Now we'll keep. We want to be able to deal with the cub as well, because cub is the the big thing against us. And here's the cub. Okay, we'll need to land at some point. I think we'll just let him pump and get the stuff, get the get energy. I don't think we want to uh, chop yet. He doesn't have harness lightning or uh, virtuoso. It's not as bad if he has the the energy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's not much we can do about this guy right now, unless we draw land, but in the meantime, nothing we can do. Okay, we got the land. And he only has one blue one tapped. So we might just go ahead and play this guy. We don't want him to... Uh, to go too crazy if he kills a warden then we're in trouble now our plan is going to be to uh, stabilize and get as much stuff on the board hostile taker Ooh, well. Well, that's extremely bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Yeah. And he can play next turn. Oh, that's, that's awful. No attacks. Why isn't he attacking? Oh, send Villa Grove. So let's see. What's our plan here? So we're definitely playing this. Uh, yeah, the tyrant's gonna be our plan. Do we play the Kenra or the Legion here? I think it doesn't matter. Uh, Kenra, Kenra's a two-two. This one's a one-one. Kenra is gonna be better with the tyrant. So I'm just gonna play the Legion. Hmm, right away. Not 
Don't you want to wait first? What's happening next turn? So he wants to do it right now. Is he playing my guy? Getting one of my vampire vampires. Yeah. Elstage Elst Elst Taker is very good against Warden. He has energy now to uh, to play with the cub. So what do we want to draw here? We're gonna play the the ballista here. I'm not sure we want to attack. Because if we attack, we lose all our team. That's not at all what we want to do. So we're just going to play this guy. Okay. And hope for the best. So this guy's gonna be huge. I'm not gonna be able to deal with it with a tyrant. Maybe just trade. Trading is not great. Yeah, he's gonna have a lot of energy. I'm not taking with everything. Sure. Yeah, I'm just mucking him. I'll take five. Attacking with everything is the only way I can win. For him, attacking with everything for him is the only way I can win. So how many mana do I have? So I'm gonna have to take the cub next turn, which is... Uh, and I don't even have to attack with everything, because I have the mana to cast my guy. Uh, then just attack with the vampire. If I attack with everything, then that means I get this, but this doesn't do anything. Now I need to be able to uh, make a token right away. Had I not draw my land, then maybe, but not now. So we're going to play the Tyrant. This guy's going to be... So it's two, four, it's gonna be eight, eight. Is that right? Four, you can use it twice. And every time you use it, it's the plus two, plus two. So yeah, it's eight damage. Uh. That would be a trade. That would actually be so bad. Am I am I missing something? So he pump once, becomes a six six. I can only just pump it once. If it's a seven seven, I lose my uh, ballista. I can I want to keep my ballista. But I definitely want to kill it, so I think I'm gonna do that. If he kills my servo, that's fine. Does he have a way to uh, to make it bigger? Okay. Is he gonna pump another time? Okay. Fine. Eight eight. Oh, plus two, plus two. Uh. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about this. So it's ten ten. Yeah. Well, my guess dead. My guys are dead. Another warden. My warden would be great. Another warden or a uh, cradle or land. 
Uh, I'm going to cycle this one. Get another warden, please. Another land, not as good. I'm gonna play this guy. Yeah, I can't play Angel against him. If he takes the Angel with the Hostage Taker, I'm so dead. But I might play, uh, yeah, Jenny is not great either because he's blossoming defense. So I don't actually have many ways to deal with that, to do that, that draw. Yeah, but what ifs, maybe this guy. Ah, uh, sure. Probably gonna go to game three. They can't attack, just go kill me already. Just don't don't make it last too long. Could attack with everything, yeah. Could have played my land too. Uh, sure, I'm gonna plug this guy. I'm gonna take five, I'm gonna go to seven. Another land. And he's on 19 still. Get this guy back. Put my vampire attack for uh, five. Gain five li five life. That's my plan. That's my master plan. All right. I'm gonna deal some damage at least. At last. I uh, sure. And attack for five. What's happening? What's happening? Exile target creature. Oh yeah, okay. Well, let's concede here. So Jenny definitely not an option. Against Ruskus Contempt, against Blossoming Defense, against all this stuff. This is not gonna work against Ruskus Contempt either. Yeah, I think that's 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 what we can do. Maybe play another Tyrant. That's really the only card that's making a difference. Let's take out the Kinnar was not exactly uh, super impressive here. Play first, yes. Uh, okay, wow, this hand is actually pretty good. Uh, keep. Uh, too bad we don't have all the lands that come and tapped. Uh, if we do, yeah, blah blah. Uh, so we can't do this first. If we draw planes, we are on the top of the world. If not, then uh, yeah, I think we're still gonna play that. We need four. We need four. Uh, four creatures. So we need to play two of them anyway. The good thing about these guys is that. The block is siphoner. All right, we draw a forest, which is going to be good for next turn. This guy I don't want to see. I hate this guy. It's too good. A ballista, so that's my payoff card. Um, I'm gonna go for two of these guys.
thing is, next turn, if you just play a guy and doesn't kill my guys, I can play this and get a 5-5 five five right away. So let's not do anything in that. Hope my guys survive. Like if he plays a rogue refiner, we are we're we're fine. One, two, three. No, this guy. This guy don't like so much. Sure, we'll take it. Oh, Shram's XTs. Oh, it's oh, it's too bad. Oh, oh man. If only. All right. So let's play this. Hopefully, we get uh, something good. Oh, that's not great. Probably one of the worst we could get. No, the worst would have been the zero card. Do you place another land? Sure. Can I also? Don't kill my Ovia, please. Yeah, no attacks. Yes. Alright, so we have a 5-5 five five online. Uh, should we do it on his turn? I think we can do it on his turn. There's no... Like, if he has a uh, removal, would be if... Yeah, well, I might as well do it now. Oh yeah, if he attacks, he kills my guy. Uh, well, that's okay. Let's see if Ovia uh, wins the game. If he doesn't have a way to remove it, I'm, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. If he doesn't have a removal now, then we're good. Because the next the next token is not going to be five five, it's going to be uh, six eight nine. It might be nine nine. Because if you play Shram Expertise into Hope Tender, is he attacking? No, he's not attacking. Can I untap? Oh, that would be the dream. Probably not. Yeah, of course not. Okay, well, we got a 5-5 five, five in the deal and one energy. So, uh, oh wow. And we get this too. So let's see, how much mana do we have? We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it would be 4-4. Four, four. Um, we can do a lot of stuff here. We can play this and this. So that would be four, so we're not losing anything mana wise. We'll get a bunch of tokens. I want to keep this guy for now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play this. So do I play my guy right away or should I wait? Because this guy is going to be a 5-5. Five, five. He can basically kill it. I don't want him to kill it. So I'm going to play this guy. It's going to be an 8-8. 4-4. Eight, 4-4 eight, uh, four, four. Four, four Ballista. That's, that's pretty good. Flip. Okay. I'm going to attack with everything. Not gonna move yet. We don't. We don't have to uh, move with the ballista. Can just wait for him to try to kill it. He's on 13. So next turn I have four, eight, nine. I have 10 mana. 10, 12. I have 14 mana.
So he's not doing anything. Uh, well, I guess this guy's free. I have more than that. I have, I have a thousand mana actually. Okay, I'm gonna play this guy. Because I can't untap two lands, so this guy's gonna be huge. Do I play a blocker or do I, do I need to play this guy? Uh, so I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. 11, so 10, uh, 21, 22 mana. So I could add 11 counters on this guy. Yeah, I think he's dead. Uh, yeah, I don't need to actually do anything. He's going to attack with everybody and he's going to take a million. Yeah, I'm just keeping the hope tender. I can't even attack with the ballista, that doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. Killing what? The 5-5? Five, five. Uh, killing the 5-5. Five, five. Sure, that's okay. I guess I could have taken the mana in response. That was a little stupid. But if he doesn't block the ballista, then he's dead. 10 mana. And tap two lands. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I guess one land was enough. But plus one. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, I guess I definitely did not have to untap two lines, but it's still okay. I mean, with one green mana, okay. So he's taking uh, 14. A few ways to kill him. Eight mana, eight damage extra. All right, that was against uh, Sultai Energy.